Well, hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and uh, this is for my CDA 3100 computer organization class. And this is um, a worksheet on uh, a simulation of how a MIPS architecture does multiplication. Okay. So we're going to go through this uh, sheet just to show you um, how the uh, architecture actually performs a multiplication through a series of ads. So we have up here, we have the uh, multiplier, which will be put four bits right here. And this is a, well, this is just a four bit machine. We don't want to do all 32 bits. That would take quite a while. And we have a, an eight bit multiplicand, but notice that uh, the left of most part is uh, zeros. And we'll put the uh, multiplicand in the right four bits. And then the product is over here. And we have these steps that we're going to go through. And I'll explain those as we go. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load our, uh, our uh, register, so to speak, with the uh, numbers. So I'm going to put the number 3 in here, and we're going to say 3 times 7. And that is the binary representation for the number 7. Well, um, you should know that 3 times 7 is equal to 21. We'll see if we come out with that answer down here, right below us. All right, now here's the, uh, here's the process that we're going to go through. The very first thing to do is we examine the rightmost bit here in the multiplier. And if that bit is a 1, what we do is we take the multiplicand and we add it to the product. So we're going to do that. And that's just uh, adding this to zeros, which is just that product. So it's uh, 0 and that's uh, 1, 1, 1. Very good. The next step is to shift the Multiplicand left, which is going to take this, and we're going to take all oh, zero, 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 and then one, 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 zero, and then we're going to shift the multiplier right one bit, zero, 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 one. Okay. Now we start the process over again. We're going to examine this bit. It is a one, so we're going to add this value to that value, and we'll kind of do that over to the side here. Let's uh, let's take it over here. So we're going to say. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, plus 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. We're going to add that. And that is 1, 0, carry the 1, that becomes 1, 0, carry the 1, and then the rest are zeros. Okay, review binary addition. So now this number goes in here. So it's uh, 0, 0, 0, 1. Zero, 0101 zero, okay we shift the multiplicand can left okay two three one and then we shift the multiplier right all right now from this point on out uh, we're not going to do anything else we're going to examine this bit it's no op we're just going to bring this down But you get the idea. We're going to shift this uh, left. We're going to shift this right, which is just all zeros. And we're going to examine the bit again. <coughs> again, we're going to just bring this down. No op. We're going to shift this left. And we're going to shift this right. And we'll just go ahead and copy all these down here at the bottom. All right, now let's check our answer. All right, uh, this value right here is worth one, two. That's worth four, eight, and that's worth sixteen. Sixteen plus four plus one. Well, that is equal to twenty-one. And that is our answer. Very good. Um, on a lot of these exercises, what I have my students do is uh, I'll have them fill out all of the, um, the uh, uh, areas. But I, I would suggest that uh, when you're doing the problem itself, you only fill in the ones that change and then go back and then fill them in. It uh, turns out to be uh, a little bit uh, easier not to make a mistake, which is very important. Well, I hope this helps you. I enjoyed doing it. Look forward to doing the next one. Thank you.